folks. Uh, another beautiful day here in Maine. Uh, a good time to do another episode of Black Bear Voices presented by our good friends over at Bangor Savings Bank. Fine people over there. Joined today by the one and only Blanca Milan of Maine Women's Basketball. Blanca, first of all, how are you and where are you? I'm really good. I'm still here in Orono. I, I didn't go home for the summer, but enjoying here. So must have been nice to be in Orono around kind of your people and in your environment for, uh, in your rehab process. How's, how's that been going for you? Yeah, it's been the first summer that I stayed here. Um, all my teammates always said that it's great in Maine in summer, so I could actually enjoy it for the first time. Uh, my knee is going pretty well. I'm almost at eight months. I've uh, been doing rehab since March um, nonstop, so getting there, almost ready to go. Nice. First summer in Maine, I mean, obviously a pretty big bummer. You can't go home to see your family and all that stuff. I mean, just another victim of the craziness. But um, what's been that, what's been summer like, been like in Maine for you? Have you been getting outside, doing things uh, that you enjoy? Yeah, it's been pretty fun, honestly. Um, I go a lot to the, to the pool or to the lake. I really, be, I really like being outside. So that was pretty much it. Uh, we did some hikes too, you know. I went fishing a couple of times with some of my teammates. So we pretty much stay outside. We keep working out together outside, which is pretty cool too, you know. So just keeping ourselves busy. Yeah. What, what do you miss most about Spain, being away from it for the summer? I'll probably say my sister and my mom and my dad. Uh, you know, I haven't seen them in so long. Um, but I'm lucky that I'm here. You know, they were in like full lockdown for like almost three months. And I didn't have to do that here. So I'm really lucky. Yeah. It's been a pretty eventful past couple months pretty eventful summer um something i wanted to talk to you about is kind of main women's basketball's role uh this kind of platform they're using to talk about social injustice and the protests that are going on and and obviously as the returning uh senior here you've, you've been leading that i saw you guys did a couple of different projects reading uh, essays and things like that what's that whole process been like for you individually and as as a team i mean we really uh talked about it you know we really wanted to be a part of it especially in a state like Maine where uh, we can really use our platform and we're a well-known team um, we really have um, people of color in the team but we really wanted to be part of it so we talked a lot we had a lot of zoom meetings everyone tried to you know give some ideas that we could possibly do during these times which is a little bit weird but also when people come back when season starts hopefully so um, personally, I really, I've been trying to really do as much as I can, you know, um, educate myself, first of all, uh, even though I have a lot of people, friends that are um, black friends, you know, I know I have to still educate myself in order to educate younger people and even my teammates. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And then as a team, um, everyone is really excited to be part of it. Everyone really wants to help. So we just keep coming up with ideas that we will eventually do at some point. Nice. Yeah. Do you guys have anything in the works? Are you guys still in kind of an abstract state or do you guys have things you're working on as a team? Um, well, as you said, we are already working on reading uh, books or things like that, videos to little kids. And then we have a couple ideas that we hopefully can start doing, you know, in T-shirts or with the community. Um, little things like that, you know. Uh, as yeah. I say, it's a little bit weird now because there's no a lot of people here and like we barely can do anything, but I think it will be really good in a couple of weeks or months. Yeah, there's not a lot of people here normally, but I get what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just going back to basketball, I mean, you know, the rehab seems to be going well. I mean, you were telling me earlier you're getting close to full contact. I mean, what's, I mean, obviously that process is tough. Obviously that process is long, but what's it been like for you? What's been kind of unexpected about it or, or expected about it? Um, it's been really tough, you know, uh, every time I think about it, it really takes a lot to talk about it because it was hard, but I would say I didn't expect to, um, go through it as well as I did. Um, I got a lot of help from my teammates and my coaches that really helped me like to get through it. You know, um, I don't know. I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did during the season sitting on the bench, but it was probably one of the best seasons I had, you know. Um, I learned how to manage that, helping my teammates and helping myself doing like little things in the bench, like bench celebrations, watching a lot of film to help them and help me when I come back, you know. So that was not expected, but it turned out pretty good. So, you know, made the best out of the injury, I would say. Yeah, getting a different viewpoint from, you know, that starting five role to being at the end of the bench. Must, exactly. I mean, pay off 
in, in all aspects of your game. Moving forward, I mean, it looks like, you know, if all things go well, you're on track for a, a regular return and a regular start of games. If we get that, what are your personal goals going into the year as someone that has such a full resume? I mean, we don't have time to get into it, you know, it's too long. But as someone that's done most everything you could want to do in the America East, what, what are you trying to improve on for 2020, 2021? I mean, obviously, my first goal is win the season again, uh, go to the NCAA tournament, you know, uh, right. get another ring for myself and for the team and help my team as much as I can, you know, coming back. Um, obviously, if I can do as a good season as I did my junior year, you know, I obviously would love that. Um, the end goal is still uh, getting to WNBA, so I would do anything um, to take to put myself in that situation. But... My focus is really getting another ring. Uh, I truly know that we can get a third one, you know. Um, we couldn't finish last season. Uh, we got to the final. So I think we can really get to work again. Yeah, I mean, the best ring is the next one. Uh, what, are, what are some, uh, some maybe, uh, are you guys working out as a team right now? Or are you guys still in an individual workouts? I mean, I know your case is pretty unique, but as a team, like, are you guys working together yet? Or are you still individual groups? Um, we're doing uh, our workouts. Uh, like, we're five or six up here right now. So we're uh, getting together and working out outside. We don't do any coaches because we cannot get in the facility. So there's some rules that don't allow us to use the coaches. But as a team, we're um, getting at least two, three workouts a week, which is pretty nice. Nice. Okay. I mean, first summer in Maine, we have all this great, you know, cuisine. I mean, people talk about the food in Spain. I don't know. They don't have Pat's Pizza in Spain. So is there is there a, a, a food you miss from Spain, or is there anything from Maine that you've acquired that could maybe take that place of your favorite Spanish food, or, or what's been your experience? Um, I really miss Spanish food a lot. I would say the most is the Spanish omelette. It's like very typical there. But, um, and fish, where I'm from, we eat a lot of fish, you know, up here, I don't eat that much. But I'm I'm happy with main food, honestly, like lobster, some seafood, like I really like that. So it's been pretty okay. It's been pretty okay. I think that's yeah. what everyone says. Yeah. So it's pretty okay. <laughs> that's great. I mean, uh, you know, it's 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 interesting. I mean, I, what a unique position you're in. I mean, uh, for you, I mean, you obviously could have never predicted this, but I mean, looking back at the year you've had, both as an individual and as a team and as a sport, I mean, what do you reflect? What do you think you're going to reflect on when you look back at the last twelve months of your life? You know, um, I, I I talk to my mom almost every day, mm-hmm. and at the beginning she was a little bit worried about it, you know, because I was here. And they were all there. But what I tell her every day is like, I feel so blessed and lucky to be here, you know, um, living my best life, literally. Like I have all my best friends with me. My coaches really take care of us. We had one of the best seasons since I'm here anyway. Um, I've been able to work out every single day, you know, uh, get back to get better, uh, be better than when I left. So I really can't complain. I know when I look back to this year, I'm going to be, Thinking for sure it was a very tough year, you know, um, individually and as a team, but it was worth it, you know, and it made me grow up a lot as a player and as a person. So I think that's worth it. Excellent. I mean, that's great. What, what else can you do but take the positives out of what's been just a wild couple months? Uh, you know, I'm not going to take up much more of your time. That's all I got. I mean, the people just want to know how, how Blanca was doing and, and what she was up to, and, and we've accomplished that. So I don't have anything else for you. Uh, I'll let you get back to your Monday. Um, Really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Um, Best of luck on the continued recovery, and uh, we can't wait to see you back on the court. Thank you so much.